I'm Sarah from Gel Yoga. So um, today will be another Mad Pilates uh, workout. So particularly we'll be working on our core, our glutes, our butt, and our thighs. So make sure that you have a mat with you. Um, it will be good to have a slightly spongier mat just so that you protect your back. But if not, it's fine to have a normal yoga mat. Uh, the props that we will be using today, um, if you have a ball, that's good. If not, just an empty Tupperware so that um, you can sandwich it between your legs. So make sure that your Tupperware um, isn't too heavy. Um, yeah, that will be it for today's class. So uh, there will be a um, comment section. So do leave your comments on uh, how you're feeling today, any particular injuries. And after the class, we will definitely review those comments and provide our feedback to you guys. So let's enjoy the class. So let's start with, uh, so props aside, okay, we're going to come to a standing position first, just to have some warm up. So make sure that you guys can see me and your screen is able to see the entire body. So we're going to start off with just uh, warming up our glutes and our thighs. So have your feet forward facing, keep width apart. Now from here you're going to bring your arms forward. So again, make sure that you're not uh, bring it forward. So always in a normal standing position, some of us, you know, our natural posture, we have a slightly arched back, or maybe we are always there some, so we look like that. Okay, try to have a, a neutral posture. So you have to start engaging your glutes in, not glutes, sorry, core. Engage your core, your glutes technically try to relax it. Now from here, make sure that your spine is neutral, so you're not doing this or this, okay? Neutral spine, neutral pelvic. Now from here, reach your arms forward. Now try not to pull it, uh, try not to protract it or pull it back too much. That's natural posture, it's fine. You're going to start bending your knees forward and come into a squat position. Now as we lower ourselves into squat, you might start to do this. Now try your best to keep your ribcage in, lower your thighs all the way to the parallel to the mat. Hold it there, shoulders slightly back. Now ribcage in, no arching, no anterior tilt. Everything in here, just hold it there for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly coming all the way up and relax. Now another thing to take note, as you are squatting down, uh, try to have an even weight distribution on four corners of your feet. You don't want to be leaning forward or leaning back too much. So let's try one more time. Bring your arms forward, inhale, ribcage and core engage, relax your glutes here, exhale, knees forward. Start to bring your thighs parallel to the mat. Don't arch your lower back, rib cage in, hold it back. Now you might feel that more of your weight is towards your heels, that's fine as long as you're not doing this. So sit down lower, hold it back. For five, four, three, two, one, slowly coming up, relax your shoulders by the side. Last set here, bring your palms forward. So try not to protract or retract too much, just natural position here. Core engage, ribcage in, spine neutral. Start to bring your knees forward, going into a squat. You should start to feel it in your glutes and your thighs here. Hold it there. Spine is neutral, not arching. Tailbone is not tucked in, hold it there. For five, four, three, two, one, slowly coming all the way up and relax your palms. Now let's try to go for one more set here. Inhale, bring your palms forward, ribcage and belly in. Exhale, bend your knees forward, neutral spine, don't tuck your tailbone in. Lower your thighs, parallel to the mat if you can. Hold it here for five, four, Three, two, one. Slowly coming all the way up. Reach your palms by the side. Now we're going for roll-down exercise. Inhale, 
shoulders back and relax. Exhale, start to drop your gaze. Lower your upper body down. So make sure that your belly is in. We're not going for a forward fold. Relax your upper body here. If your hamstrings are tight, micro bend your knees a little bit. Try not to lean back. Have your hips above your ankles. Inhale, exhale, belly in. Zip it up. Feel the engagement in your hamstrings as well as you slowly roll yourself up. Stacking your vertebrae on top of your hips. Spine up. Look forward. Shoulders back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Belly. Start to be in. Don't bulge your belly up. Relax your upper body. Relax your neck. Like a soft inhale. Exhale. Belly in. Coming all the way up. Shoulders back. Look forward. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Start to drop your gaze and your shoulders. Relax your upper body. This time round, we're going to reach for the mat. So if you can't, just bend your knees. Breathe. And you're going to walk forward into our high plank. So in your high plank, weight is over your palms. Look at the space in front of your palms. Now start to engage your core here. Don't sink your hips. Don't depress your shoulders. Push away from the mat. Neck is soft here. You're not sagging your neck. Look forward. Hold it here. Exhale. Go into an upstretch position or downward dog. Grounding your heels if you can. If not, even if your heels are lifted and your knees are bent, try to engage your quads and your hamstrings here to straighten out the back of your knee. And slowly inhale, coming forward to your high plank. Weight over your palms. Look forward. Neutral back. Engage your core. No sinking hips here. No depressed shoulders. Push up. Look forward. Exhale. Hips up. Back into your up stretch or downward dog. Last one here. Inhale, coming forward to your high plank. Start to zip up your core here. Glutes are engaged as well. Look forward. Hold it there. Exhale. Up stretch position. And slowly walk your feet forward. Coming into a seated position, we are going to start off with our C curve movement. So have your feet placed onto the mat in front. Now, the starting position, you are sitting on your sit bones. Now, to make sure that you know where your sit bones are, you can always just place your palm under your bum. You will feel this bony part of your butt, the bottom of your butt. Now, from there, those are your sit bones. Release your palms. This is where you should be seated on. Now, start to reach your palms forward. As you inhale, go into a C curve. You start to round your lumbar region. Go into a lumbar flexion here. Now, as you do that, you start to press into the fleshy part of your bum that is behind your sit bones. And you're going to hold it there. Now, you're not rounding your shoulders too much, okay? You want to feel it more in your core, so you try to keep your collarbones open up. Now, make sure that the feeling is, the engagement is in your core, not your lower back here. And you're going to hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, slowly come up. Neutral spine, stretch it out, inhale, exhale, C curving down, lumbar flexion here, lower, now try not to close up your shoulders too much, you want to keep your collarbone open, hold it there, feel it here, not here, stay here, last breath, inhale, exhale, scoop it up, mm. And sit up tall. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly. 
grow down. Now, for some of you, if you feel it a lot at your lower back, you can always roll the mat in to support the back here. And make sure that you're still feeling it here. This is just to support your lower back for those who have lower back issues. Inhale, exhale, scoop it up. Sitting up tall. Last one here. Inhale, exhale. C curving down. Lumbar flexion. Hold it there. Now hold the back of your thighs. Make sure you're not gripping or pulling in. You're just lightly holding it for support. So make sure that you're not grounding your shoulders too much. Now from here, look forward. Maybe coming onto your toes or keeping your left heel grounded. You're going to lift it up and slowly down. One more time. Up and down. Let's go for four more. Up and down and three and down two more up and down and last and down right heel down left up and down and up and down for four and down and three and down and two and down and last and down both heels grounded inhale exhale scoop it up and lengthen yourself take a breather here get ready for one more set inhale exhale C curving down Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. Try to keep your collarbones open up. Feel it here, not your back. Now this time round, you're going to inhale, exhale, right palm lifted out. So for this movement, we're not bringing it far back. Just 90 degrees, fine, and slowly coming back in. Working a little bit on your obliques here, left out. Coming back in. Make sure you keep your C curve there. Inhale, right out. And slowly exhale back in. Inhale, left out. And back in. Two more, right out. Working a little bit on your obliques here. And exhale back in. And left out. Control your movement. And coming back in. Last one here, right out. Hold it there. And in. Inhale, left out. And exhale, coming back in. Inhale here, exhale, scooping yourself up. Hug yourself if you need to just release any tension that you have in your lower back and breathe now as you inhale so take a break if you need going for the next rep here exhale now start to lean back again into your c curve now from here you're going to place your palms down behind now we are not leaning back we are not at the beach here today so just pressing your palms firmly so you don't want to be Protract your shoulders forward, but you don't flare your ribcage out. Keep it neutral here, palms supporting lightly, and you're going to reach your legs out and hold it there. Now from here, you're going to inhale, exhale, straighten it out, and come back in. Four more, straighten it out, and come back in. Now if it's impossible to straighten out, you can just hold it here and control. Three more for those, straighten it out and coming back in. Two more, straighten it up and coming back in. Last one, straighten it up. Hold it there for three, two, and one. Slowly coming back in, straighten yourself up, feet down, and rounding yourself in one more time. 
breathe. Slowly coming back up. Last one here. Again, holding on to the back of your thighs. Inhale, exhale. Start to C curve down. Lumbar flexion here. Collarbone stays open. Now start to lift one leg up and two legs up. So just now we have the support of our palms down. This time round, no support. You can keep yourself holding it there. Again, not this. You're not slouching. If you're doing this, you don't feel anything at all. Start scooping in slightly. Collarbones open. Shoulders slightly round and spine, but not this, okay? Hold it there. For five, four, three, two, one. You're going to reach your right palm up if you can. And left palm up. Hold it there for those who can. Maybe both legs straighten up and we're going to hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly holding on to your thighs. Bring your feet down and slowly coming back up. Now reach both your legs out. Palms forward. Inhale, exhale. C curving down. Pull your toes. Reach all the way down and lower your palms onto the mat. Now bending your knees in. We are going into our pelvic curl here. So pressing your palms onto the mat. Let's just go for three rounds before we move on to variations. Now as you inhale, so keep your pelvic neutral first. As you start to lift up, go into a posterior tail as you scoop up your hips and bring it towards the ceiling. Now don't bring your chin to touch your chest. We are not flaring your ribcage. You want to keep it neutral so your ribcage is in, your belly is engaged here, no bulging. Pressing your palms down, inhale here, exhale, burn to breathe by burn to breathe. Slowly bring it back to neutral pelvic. Inhale, exhale. Lift up your hips. Now get your shoulders and your knees aligned in one plane. Hold it there. Inhale, exhale. Slowly coming back down. Pelvic neutral here. So don't keep it scooped. I need you to relax your glutes back onto the mat. Bring your pelvic back to neutral. Inhale, exhale. You scoop it up. Posterior tail as you bring your hips up. Now stay there. Now essentially, if you're working on our core, we don't want to use too much of our glutes here. But today we are working on our glutes. So I want you to activate your glutes a little bit to keep yourself up there. Now from here, you should feel it in your thighs and your outer glutes working. Now reach your palms towards the ceiling. Now be careful in this movement, you're going to reach up. I want your shoulder blades to still remain grounded. Just palms up towards the ceiling. Back of your neck is grounded here. Hold it there. Inhale, exhale, lower it down onto the mat. Bring your palms down along with you. Inhale, exhale, scoop it up. Bring your palms up. Now make sure your shoulder blades remain grounded. Your knees are not flat open. You want to engage your hamstring, your thighs here. Keep your knees forward facing. Inhale, exhale, slowly grounding it back down. Coming back to your neutral spine here. So palms are down. Inhale, exhale, bring your palms up. Together with your hips, hold it there. Two more here. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower it back onto the mat. Pelvic neutral here. Inhale, exhale, scoop it up. Bring your palms up towards the ceiling. Hold it there. Breathe. So make sure you're not flaring your ribcage. Inhale, exhale, lower your hips back down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly back to neutral pelvic. Last one here. Inhale, exhale, bring your palms up towards the ceiling. 
and hold it up here. So again, try to make sure that your ribcage are not flaring. Keep it there. Now, if you feel that your feet are too far away from you, you can inch it in a little bit. Push your hips up a little bit higher. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Stay here. Option to keep your palms there or you can drop it onto the mat, pressing your triceps and palms firmly. Now, make sure that you're not collapsing. Keep your hips high up there. Now, from here, let's work on our calves as well. Inhale, exhale, heels lifted. Now, with your heels lifted, you're going to feel the activation more coming from your glutes and your thighs all the way to your calf muscles. Inhale, exhale, lower. Hips are not lower. Keep your hips up. So you have to maintain your glute activation here. Inhale, exhale, hips, uh, heels up here. Inhale, exhale, heels down with control. So don't just plop down with your hips. Keep it up. So heels are down. Inhale, heels up. Don't flare your ribcage. Exhale, heels down with control. Now, as you drop your heels down with control, you should feel it more in your glutes. Inhale, exhale, heels up. Inhale, exhale, lower your heels down towards the mat. Inhale, exhale, heels lifted. Now you're going to lower your heels carefully and slowly. Inhale, exhale down in three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, heels lifted two more. Inhale, exhale down in three, two, and one. Keep your hips lifted. Last one, heels off the mat. Inhale here, exhale in three, two, and one. Keep your hips up. Inhale, exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae. And bringing your pelvic back to neutral. Now, if you need to, just bring your knees side to side. Relax it. Breathe. Now, coming back to the center. Now, you're going to bring your legs up towards the So, stretch out both legs first. Only your right leg towards the ceiling. Now from here, open up your palms, palms are facing the ceiling. We are going for leg circles here. So you should feel it in your thighs and your glutes as well as your hip. Now it's not about how wide your circle is until your whole entire pelvic is side to side. This is stable, small circles, okay? Little circles to feel the isolation in your hip joints. So let's start off with clockwise, flexing your foot in. So make sure that your rib cage is not flaring. Keeping it in, lower back should be imprinted onto the mat. So make small circles at your own pace. Now as you get ready for a bigger circle, you are going to go inhale one round, exhale one round. Inhale one round, exhale one round. Four more. Inhale one round, exhale one round, inhale one round, exhale one round, two more, inhale one round, exhale one round, last one, inhale one round, exhale one round, change direction, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, four more, inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale, two more, inhale, and exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, bend your right knee in, and slide it out, shake it out if you need, now changing side, bending your left knee in, 
and stretch your left foot towards the ceiling. Now, if this is too much for you, you can keep it micro bending, but make sure that as you bend, you control your movement and you don't sway your pelvic too much side to side. Keep the movement isolated in your joint, in your hip joint area. Okay, so you should feel it in your glutes and your thigh muscles here. So option to keep it bent or try to stretch it out. If you are able to stretch it out, you should feel it more. So let's go clockwise, just small circles first. Get ready for your inhale and exhalation. Let's go inhale one round, exhale one round. Inhale one round, exhale one round, inhale one round. Exhale one round, four more, inhale. If you are comfortable and confident that you are not swaying your pelvic side to side, you can try to draw bigger circles here. For three, and exhale. For two, and exhale. For last, and exhale, changing direction. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale one round. Exhale one round. Four more. Inhale one round. Exhale one round. Rip cage in. Don't arch your lower back here. Inhale one round. Exhale one round. Two more. Inhale one round. Exhale one round. Last one. Inhale one round. And exhale one round. Bend your knee in. Slide it up, shake it out if you need. And breathe. Now bring your knees in, bend your knees, feet in. Now bring your arms towards the back. So again, shoulder blades are grounded, arms are lifted here. So in this position, I need you to come to your reverse tabletop on 90-90, lifting up one leg at a time. So try to make sure that your thighs are perpendicular to your belly without scooping it in. You want to have your back lowered onto the mat. You want to have your pelvic neutral. Your tailbone isn't tucked in. Okay? So shin parallel to the bed as much as you can. Knees together for stability. Now from here, shoulder blades are grounded, but arms are up. Just stay here for 10 counts. You should feel your core engagement here. So you are not flaring your ribcage. You are bringing in and zipping it up. Just hold it here. For 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhale, exhale, into your chest lift. Do a quick check, make sure your belly is not scooped in. Hold it there, inhale back. Exhale forward, four more, inhale back. And exhale forward, three more, inhale back. Don't touch your arms onto the mat, exhale forward. Last one, inhale back and exhale, coming all the way up. Now from here, you are going to hold on to your right knee and stretch it out. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Four more, exhale, switch. Exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. For two more here, switch. If this is too much for your neck, you can hold it here. So cross, interlacing your palms underneath, switch. And switch. Make sure you don't close in your elbows. You don't want to use your shoulders. Two more here, switch. And switch. Last one, switch. And switch. Back to the center, inhale, exhale, down, breathe. Drop your feet onto the mat. Palms back in front of you. 
going back to our pelvic curl, inhale, exhale, scooping it up, coming all the way up to the top. Now this movement that we are going to do, you have to make sure that you are not sinking into your pelvic, so pelvic lifted. Grounding your heels onto the mat, so let me shift so that my heels are grounded for me. So up. Now, the movement you're going to do will be pressing your palms and triceps firmly. You're going to reach your left leg up and stretch it up. Bring it in and down. Same leg. Stretch it up and coming back in. So don't drop. Keep it up. Stretch it up and coming in. Let's go for three more. Stretch it up and coming in. Two more, stretch it up and coming in, ribcage in, stretch it out and coming in, last one, stretch it out, ribcage in, hold it there and coming back onto the mat, readjust your pelvic, so if you're starting to sink, just lift up your hips here, so don't get your chin towards your chest. Hold it there. If you need a break, it's always fine to come back to the mat and join us when you're ready. So if you can, stay up there, getting ready on your right side. So make sure your hips are lifted. So a lot of glutes and your thigh activation here. Start to lift up your right leg and stretch it up. Coming back in and place it down. Five more up and stretch. In and down, up and stretch, in and down, two more, up and stretch, in and down, last one, readjust if you need, up and stretch, in and down, readjust, lift up one more time, Inhale, exhale, slowly coming all the way down, neutral pelvic, and bring your knees in just to ease out any tension you have in your lower back, and breathe. Now reach out for your ball here, or your empty Tupperware. Okay, so lie down one more time. <clears throat> now you're going to stretch your legs towards the ceiling. Now from here, reach your ball behind your head. You're going to inhale. Now try not to bring it in too much. For those who can't straighten it up, so always remember you want to keep this area perpendicular, thigh and your belly perpendicular without scooping or tucking your tailbone in. Okay, try to maintain a neutral pelvic. Okay, you are really feeling it here and not your lower back. If this is too much for you, you can keep it slightly bent. But try to lower it or you can go back to your 90-90. But if not, try to have it towards the ceiling because we are going to try to roll our ball up. Now I'm putting it at your pelvic here. Inhale, exhale, you are going to roll your ball up. Or if not, have an empty bottle and exhale slowly coming back down. So if you don't have a bottle or you only have your empty Tupperware, it's fine. Just reach it up and bring it back down. Reach it up and bring it back down. For those who have a ball, roll it up. Or if you have an empty bottle, roll it up and roll it back down. So play around with your props. Reach up. And coming back down. Four more here, reach up and down. So I don't want you to use momentum and okay? Use the control from your bed here. Up and down and up and down. Two more up and down. Last one up and down. Bend your knees in. Place your feet down and breathe, still holding on to your prop here. 
Now the next one, we are going to have to put your prop and sandwich it in the middle of your legs. So this is where your empty Tupperware will come in handy. Now get ready for your position, pointing your legs towards the ceiling. So for this movement, just by keeping your legs up, you have to use a lot of your thigh muscles here to keep it there. And then using your core to lift your Tupperware up and putting it between your legs. So for this motion, you are going to reach your Tupperware back or your ball. Inhale, exhale, reach up and place it between your shin, your ankles and back down. Inhale, exhale, reach and slowly coming back down. Now try not to play cheat here and do this and back, okay? I don't want you to bring your legs in. Keep it perpendicular and up between your ankles and down and reach for your prop and down and place your prop back and down and grab your prop and back. Let's go for four more. Up, place it between and down and grab your ball, your top away, your bottle and back. Three more. Up, place it as high as you can. Try not to just place it between your knees or your thighs. Reach up and down. Two more. Up and reach and down and up and grab and reach back. Last one, let's try to go a little bit higher, hold it there, and coming back down. Last one, reach for it, and slowly coming back down. Release your prop, bend your knees in, hug your knees close to your chest, and breathe. So if any of you are feeling it in your lower back, this is a good reminder that you need to feel it more here. You have to engage your core muscles. Always feel as though you're zipping it up but without tucking in your tailbone too much, okay? Now, holding on to your shin, inhale, exhale, roll up and placing your feet down. Now, take a sip of water if you need, wipe your sweat. How are all of you feeling? So remember to keep leaving your comments or feedback in the section below. Let me know how you are feeling now. Alright, now let's come into our tabletop position. So in our tabletop, this is a simple pose, but a lot of us, we are either too far, we might look this, this way, or we might look like that. Okay, try to position such that your knees are stacked below your hips, your shoulders and knees are aligned, even your elbows, don't hyperextend, don't sink. You want to push up and round and turn it inwards. So this part of your elbow, try not to turn it in. Even in your point or your downward dog, if you're doing yoga, try not to have this turn outwards. You want to turn it inwards. So you see, the moment you turn it inwards, you take the load off your wrist and you are working this part of your arms more. Okay? So tabletop, belly ties perpendicular, not sinking. You want to push and engage. Now, you don't want to tuck it in either. So neutral pelvic here, flat back, flat um, neutral spine, push away from the mat, okay? Now from here, we're going to start working on our outer glutes and our thighs. So you are going to start off, we're going to start off with our left leg. So you're going to bring your knee up to the side. Now make sure that as you're bringing it up to the side, you don't want to start sinking this way. Okay, it's not about how high you go. I want you to make sure that your, your, your back remains neutral. You try to keep yourself center and just lift it up to the side without leaning. Okay, so bring it up and slowly coming back down. So don't drop your knee, hover it there and slowly coming all the way up and down. We're going for four more here. Bring it up, hold it there, and down. Three more here. Again, don't stack your neck. 
keep it neutral look forward and up so I'm just doing this so that I'm looking at you and exhale coming down but please don't be doing this okay make sure that you're looking at the mat so coming all the way up we got two more here exhale knee towards the other knee but not placing it down last one you're going to bring it up hold it there now you're going to stretch out your left leg as much as you can without leaning over flex it in for three two and one slowly placing it down sliding your left knee in one more time readjust your tabletop and we're going to work on our right side so again as you start to work a little bit more here you might start to sink and turn your elbows outwards just make it a conscious effort to keep it in okay so let's start on our right side now so bring it up towards the ceiling so you don't have to be looking at me i want you to keep your neck long and soft so try to center yourself bring it up high and exhale back down four more here inhale up a little bit higher and exhale down so this works on opening up your hips as well as well as your glutes here you're activating your glutes working a lot on your hamstrings and your quads here exhale back down two more here so i'm starting to lean so please don't lean be conscious keep yourself center bring it up hold it there and exhale down last one here in her right knee or hold it there for three two one you're going to stretch out your leg flex it in and hold it for three two and one gently placing it back down and sliding it back in now anytime if the movements are too much for your wrist always feel free to drop onto your forearm okay now the next movement we are going to do still in tabletop at this moment you can choose to come onto your forearm for all these movements next you can be on your forearm or on your tabletop just make sure that if you are in your forearm you are not this or this okay neutral look forward okay so let's start with our left leg you are going to lift up your left knee and stretch it out now as you stretch out make sure that you're not tilting one side hold it there don't arch neutral and you're going to bend your heels towards your glutes and stretch it up let's go for five more here bend it in squeezing your heel close to your glutes and stretch it up four more bend it in close to your glutes and stretch it up two more bend it in squeeze it close to your glutes if you can and stretch it up last one bend it in close to your glutes if you start to sink and arch your back rib cage in squeeze it and stretch it out one more time placing your left knee down readjust if your wrist is feeling too much come onto your forearm and from here again notice neutral start to reach your right leg out stretch it and from here flexing your feet and squeeze your heel close to your glutes here so if you are starting to arch rib cage in one more time and stretch it out so keeping your right leg high up don't drop it let's squeeze it in close to your glutes and stretch it out so control your movement we are not going for pulses here okay we are trying to control the movement here to feel the muscle engagement so squeeze it back in towards your glutes and exhale out let's go for three more right in squeeze and exhale out so again don't sink too much onto your hips squeeze it in rib cage in call this engagement exhale back out last one inhale squeeze it in rib cage in don't drop your knee down lift up higher 
and exhale, stretch it out and slowly drop your right knee back down. If you are feeling it a lot, go for a child's pose. Breathe. If not, let's come back. Either your tabletop or forearm. Okay, now two more movements here. Going back onto our left leg. Now, keeping your knees center, we are going to stretch it out. Now, from here, for this movement, you are going to bend the knee in towards your core slightly, but make sure you're not shifting forward as you're doing it. Just bring it in so that you feel a little bit of engagement in your core, and you are going to stretch it up towards the ceiling, and slowly bring it back in. So for this movement here, we are not doing this. Okay, it's not a cat cow. Okay, everything remains stable here. Shoulders are stable. Again, same thing. If it's too much, just come onto your forearm, squeeze it in. If you're on your forearm, you might not be able to come. You're not able to squeeze your knee too far in. It's fine. Just make sure that you start to feel the engagement at your belly, at your core area, and kick up towards the ceiling. So as you kick up, don't arch. You're just kicking it to feel it in your glutes and slowly come in. Now start to exhale up. Now listen here. I need you to pause twice and coming back in towards your belly, but don't shift your weight. Inhale, exhale, kick up and pulse twice. And coming back in, we're going for three more here and kick it up, pulse twice. And coming back in, two more here and exhale, pulse up towards the ceiling and coming back in. Make sure you don't arch your back as you pulse up. Last one here and pulse. And slowly coming back in towards your core. Feel a little bit of squeeze and back to the center, changing side. Okay, again, option to be on your forearm. Now, from here, you start to bring your right knee off the mat and squeeze it in. Exhale, start to pulse up to it. So let's try for two rounds first just to make sure that you get the movement there without sinking. So up and slowly in towards your core. So again, control your movement and exhale, kick it up. So get ready, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, back in. We're going for pulses here. And exhale, kick it up and pulse twice, bring it back in, four more, squeeze your core and exhale up and pulse, in towards your belly, exhale, so make sure you don't start to lean forward, pulse twice and coming back in, make sure you're not leaning forward, exhale, pulse, and coming back in. Last one here. Squeeze your core. Exhale. Don't stack your neck. Bring it up. Pulse twice. And slowly coming back in towards your core. Don't sink. Squeeze it there. And slowly bringing your knees back down. And reach back for a child's pose. Breathe. One last movement here. Now coming back to the center, again option to stay on your forearm or coming back to tabletop. So readjust, it would be good that if you have a mirror just to check yourself that you're not doing this or this, okay? So back to the center. Starting out with our left leg first, so you can either tuck your toes or keep it, um, keep the back of your toes down. So your option here, if it's too much for your knees, Keep your toes down to get a little bit of weight off the knees, okay? Now from here, stretch your left leg out. Now we are going to bring it outwards, lower but not tap, 
and slowly crossing over your right ankle, not placing it down, and back. Okay, so front view. In and cross. Out and cross. So lightly tapping or just hovering. And cross. Out and cross. You can even bring it a little bit wider if you want. And crossing it behind as back as you can. And out and down. And cross and tap. Three more. Bring it up and tap. And crossing over. And tap. Two more. Keep yourself stable. Don't lean towards your right knee. And crossing over. And tap. Last one. Bring it up a little bit further. Tap. And crossing it towards the back. And tap. And coming back to the center. Bring your left knee in. Relax. Again, option. Drop onto your elbows or keep yourself in tabletop. Make sure you're not arching. Neutral. Stretching out your right leg. Bring it outwards. Tap. And crossing it over. And tap. Bring it outwards. A little bit further and tap. And slowly bring it back. And tap. Five more here. Out. And tap. And back. And tap. Make sure you don't sink towards your left side. Keep it center. Out. And tap. Right. And tap. Coming up towards the center. And all the way out if you can. Tap. And bring it back. Swing it towards the back. Behind your ankle. And tap. Two more. Coming out. And tap. And swing it back. Crossing it behind your ankle. And tap. Last one. Up. And tap. And back. And tap. Coming back to the center. Bring your left knee in. Exhale into your child's pose. And breathe. One more breath here. Take a sip of water if you need. Now from here, come into our tabletop. So last one for the core before we go onto our back to work a little bit more on our glutes and our back. Okay, so from here, reach out into your plank position. Hold it there. Okay. Now, I just need you to bring your right knee forward. If you can, tap. If not, just as forward as you can without shifting forward and back. Left knee forward. If you can touch it, you go ahead, but make sure you don't lean forward. Okay. Shoulders are where they are, step above the wrist and back. Right knee forward and back. Left knee forward and back. Forward, right forward and back. Left forward and back. Right forward, touch your elbow if you can. And back, left forward and back. Let's go for two more. Right forward and back. Left forward and back. Don't sink your hips. Engage your core. Right forward. And back, left forward, and back. Last one here, keep it strong. And back, left forward, and back. Choose to go to your knees or go into an up stretch or down on top. Breathe. One more breath here. All doing okay? Okay. Now start to come forward into your high plank. Drop onto your knees. Now reach your knee back and lower onto the mat. Now from here, I need you to bring, bend your elbows 
have your palms back on top of each other. For this movement, you can choose to rest your forehead onto the palms. So watch here first for the demo. You are going to bring your knees apart and you are going to bend it in. So knees apart, bend it in until your feet are, play, are meeting each other here. Okay. So for the benefit, I'm just going to hold up because I'm talking to you. But as you're doing it, okay, I don't want your neck to be straight, looking forward, or sagging. Just resting your palm down. I want you to focus off from here downwards, okay? So from here, press the soles of your feet together, knees are apart. You are going to inhale, squeeze and lift your thighs off the mat. Now, if this is not possible, just knees off a little bit is fine. But I want you to continue pressing the soles of your feet together. Squeeze your glutes, use your thighs and lift it up. So you should be doing this, okay? And slowly exhale down. We are going for four more here. Inhale, up, squeeze, thighs lift up, exhale down. Three more, inhale up, come on, get your thighs up a little bit more, and down, three more, inhale, press the soles of your feet together, lift your thighs up, hold that, and down, two more, inhale up, thighs up, lift the press the soles of your feet together, and down, last one, inhale, thighs up, hold that, use your back as well to lift up higher, and slowly coming back down, rest here, three breaths, now getting ready, so keeping your forehead down for the next movement, or you can just lift up and have a quick look here, we are still going for the same movement, pressing your feet together, thighs up, but from here we are going to push your feet together and stretch it out. So notice that my thighs are still lifted. Keep it lifted as you come back in and down. Inhale, thighs are lifted. Push the soles of your feet together as you straighten it out. And slowly coming back in and drop your thighs onto the mat. Let's go, set yourself up, forehead rested on your palms, so let's listen to my cueing. Soles of your feet together, okay, thighs are down, knees are down. Inhale, press the soles of your feet together. Start to lift your knees up, your thighs up, hold it there. Now from here, you are going to press the soles of your feet together, at least keep your big toe touching and straighten out your legs. Thighs are still lifted and slowly coming back in. Big toes touching, thighs lifted. Exhale down. Just two more here. Inhale, thighs off. Big toes touching, press it together, lengthen it. Come on, you can do it. Hold that and slowly coming back in. Exhale down. Last one, thighs are lifted, press it together, lengthen out your legs, make sure big toes are still touching, thighs lifted, hold it there, slowly coming back in, exhale down, and rest. Sway your butt side to side if you need, drop your feet onto the mat. And breathe. Last set here. Now, coming forward, reach your palms up. So it can either be shoulder width apart, but if your shoulders are tight, you can always spread out your palms. Okay? So, we are not um, looking forward. I want you to make sure that your neck is feeling soft and relaxed. Okay? Imagine there's a ball between your nose and the mat. Imagine that you don't want any wrinkles at the back of your neck. Just pressing your palms down. Start to lift up your head. 
not your hip, forehead from the mat. Now from here, engage your core, maybe lifting up your belly button from the mat. You are going to lift your right arm up and left up. Hold it there. Let's take it slow. Drop your right arm and left foot down. And left arm right up. Slowly down. And switch. So opposite hand and leg. And down. And switch. Two more. Down. And switch. And down. And switch and slowly coming down. Now, if some of you feel that this is too much, you can always roll your back in just to support your chest a little bit. Okay? So from here, both palms down, forehead still lifted, and you're going to lift up both your legs and palms. This time around, start alternating, start swinging. So we are not resting our palms or your toes down onto the mat. Swing. If you can, pick up your pace, but control your movement. And let's go for 10 counts here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Drop your palms down. Bring your palms in. Rest in your forehead or either side of your ears and breathe. Last breath here. Draw your palms in close to your chest. Tuck your toes, either knees off or knees remain grounded. Push yourself up to a high plank. Exhale into your up stretch or downward dog. Now slowly bend one knee at a time. One more breath in. Walk your feet in towards your palms. Bend your knees, lower your bum down, stretch your legs up, sit up tall, palms forward, inhale, exhale, rounding your back, C curving down, control, and slowly bring your palms down onto the mat, bending your right knee in towards your chest, give your glutes a good stretch here. Using the help of your left palm, holding onto your right knee, going for a spine twist here. So if you can, make sure that your shoulder blades are grounded. If your knee can't touch the mat, just use your left palm to press it down a little bit. For those who can, you need to relax and ground your knee onto the mat, making sure that both your shoulder blades are down, look towards the right. So any spinal twist is good for a stretch for your lower back here to ease out any tension. Relax your shoulders. Look towards the right. Inhale, coming back to the center. Stretch out your right and bend your left knee in towards your chest. Stretch it out. Use your right palm holding onto your knee and twisting across. Lower your knee towards the mat. Try to make sure shoulder blades are grounded. And breathe. Feel the good stretch in your lower back. Don't tense up. You need to relax every part of your body. Breathe. Inhale, coming back to the center. Knees together. Roll up. Slowly placing your feet down. Crossing your legs in one more time. 
If you can, just stretch your palms forward, making sure that your sit bones are grounded. So if this is not possible, you can just drop your forearm down. Hold it here. Wherever you are, give your back a good stretch. If you can, maybe walking your fingertips towards the right or left, stretching out your outer glutes. Back to the center. If you're on your forearm, just walk your forearm towards the side. So make sure you don't lift up the sit bones. Keep it grounded. And coming back to the center. Now if you still need to give your glutes a stretch, you can always cross it over. Get your knees aligned. So either right knee on top or left knee on top. It doesn't matter if it's changing side. So try to have your heels far away from your glutes. So if your right knee is on top, you should feel the stretch of your right glutes. Just breathe. And slowly switching side. So if your left knee is on top, you should feel the stretch of your left glutes. Have your heels further apart. Breathe. And thank you for class. So um, participate in uh, our live sessions using the hashtag stable with gel. Again, just leave your comments, your feedback, how you're feeling after the class so that um, instructors can have a look at those comments that you have left or you can even upload some of the poses or practice that you have done and let us have a look and we can give you some guidance on whether you're doing it right or maybe there's some alignment that needs to be um, uh, just slightly adjusted so we'll definitely reply your comments or feedback so in the meantime, um, we are all stuck at home. So continue practicing diligently. Give yourself a good stretch. Give yourself a good workout. And continue checking our schedule for updates. Thank you. Hi. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying um, our videos and our classes. So remember to follow our Instagram account at Gel Yoga. Give it a like or thumbs up. Um, and also over at our Facebook, remember to follow and like as well. Uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channels at um, Gel Yoga as well and we'll see you around for more classes.